Over the last few months, Asus has upgraded two of its most popular Wi-Fi 6 routers to the Pro version, and after testing them I noticed that there are some striking similarities between them, mainly in terms of internal components. But why exactly is the ROG GTX 6000 in this comparison? Well, this Wi-Fi 6 router was actually the testing ground for some of the upgrades found on the RTX 88U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro. So despite being a bit older, it's still a very much relevant device, still fully supported by Asus, regularly receiving new features. And I did some brief casual comparisons between some of these routers in my videos, but I didn't truly go in depth. So now it's time to do just that and choose which router of these three is the best option out there. Let's start with the design and the build quality. When you put these three routers side by side, if it wasn't for the logo, you couldn't tell they're built by the same manufacturer. The GTX 6000 has this huge footprint and four antennas, one on each corner, while the RTX 88U Pro has a more traditional look, with its antennas positioned near and on the rear side. And it's a design that was passed down for generations, down from the RTAC 88U. The RTX 86U Pro also has some history. This upwards case evolved from the popular AC68U. There are three external antennas on the RTX 86U Pro while the fourth lies inside the case. And yes, you can upgrade the antennas on all three Wi-Fi 6 routers. As for the status LEDs, all three routers have them positioned in the front while the ports sit on the rear side. The ROG GTX 6000 has two USB ports, one is 2.0, the other 3.0. There are also 4 gigabit LAN ports and two 2.5 gigabit ports, one for WAN and the other for LAN. But do keep in mind that there is support for dual WAN. The RTX 88U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro have pretty much the same setup. 4 gigabit LAN ports plus other two 2.5 gigabit ports. And both do offer a couple of USB ports, also 2.0 and 3.0. I do think it's time to push for 2.5 gigabit on all ports, but then again, at least we get a couple of them on each router, unlike on the TUF AX4200, which has only a single one available. Now let's talk about whether it's possible to mount any of these routers on the wall. Surprisingly, only one of them has this option available. And yes, I am talking about the ROG GTX 6000. People still find it baffling that Asus has added what looks like mounting holes on the RTX 88U Pro, but there is no place where to insert the head of the screw. It's flat. As for the RTX 86U Pro, the Wi-Fi router is vertical with a large base at the bottom, so it's not really a wall mounting friendly design. This means that design wise, even if it's the weirdest looking one, the GTX 6000 is better than the other two routers. That is, unless you don't have a lot of space available, so the small footprint of the RTX 86U Pro will be an advantage. When I tested these three routers, I did record some videos of their thermal management, and you can see for yourself how well each device did. All three routers rely on passive cooling, and while I didn't see any hot spots, there is one device that slightly stood out a bit. Not by much, but yes, the Asus RTX 88U Pro seems to be just a tiny bit better at the heat management than the other two routers. Now let's have a look at the main internal components of each router and see which one is the best equipped one. All three have the same quad-core 2.0 GHz Broadcom processor and also the same amount of RAM which is excellent for running VPNs. As for storage, the RTX 88U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro have 256 MB available, while the GTX 6000 has double that amount. In terms of Wi-Fi chipsets, the GTX 6000 is equipped the same as the RTX 88U Pro, while the RTX 86U Pro is slightly downgraded when it comes to the 2.4 GHz radio. It's 3x3 MIMO versus 4x4 on the other two routers. It's worth mentioning that all three routers support WaveDMA to help improve the latency, there's MUMIMO and Beamforming. Additionally, there's support for the 160 MHz channel bandwidth, and of course, it is possible to use any of these three routers as either a mesh node or a mesh router. I did test each of these Wi-Fi 6 routers, some more in-depth than the others, so feel free to check them out since not all will be covered here. Now let's start with the single client test results. The client was a Wi-Fi 6 device and I used both the 80 MHz and the 160 MHz channel bandwidth. At 5 feet, we can see that the winner is the ROG GTX 6000, both upstream and downstream, regardless of the channel bandwidth. 
The RTX 882 Pro is a close second when using the 160 with both upstream and downstream, but it does go to the third place on the 80 MHz channel bandwidth, being outshone by the RTX 86U Pro. Now let's talk about range. I could rely on these graphs to get an idea about which offers the best throughput at 70 feet, but it's not really a good idea because it doesn't take into account the interference. I could get a certain throughput today, and tomorrow some conditions can change, such as the number of Wi-Fi devices in the area, and I could end up with a different result altogether. Also, you can't reproduce these results in your own home unless you follow the signal attenuation another distance. That's why we're going to check out the signal attenuation graphics. All that talk, and the winner is again the GTX 6000, which offers really good value even if the attenuation was minus 80 dB, the equivalent of about 70 feet in my house. The worst value has been delivered by the RTX x 88 Pro and the RTX 86U Pro when using the 80 MHz channel bandwidth. But all that was upstream, so let's see what happened downstream. Yes, the ROG GTX 6000 wins again, while the two Pro routers struggle to offer a decent throughput. Now let's move to the 2.4 GHz radio because while it's mostly left for the smart IoT devices, it's still very much relevant. And things are a bit different here. The GTX 6000 and the RTX 882 Pro are evenly matched up until the 30 feet mark, where the latter performs much better and that remains true up to 70 feet. The RTX 86U Pro just wasn't able to keep up at all. And this is also confirmed by the signal attenuation graphic, where you can see that the RTX 882 Pro is the clear winner in terms of range. Now let us move forward to some multi-client tests. I use the same 5 client devices that I always use for this type of tests and the same server PC. And since the entire chart would have been a mess if I put all the values I got, I decided to rely on the mean latency that I measured at each client level. And the results were a complete surprise. I first simulated the simultaneous 1080p streaming on 5 clients and we can see that the RTX 882U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro did really well especially on the Wi-Fi 6 and 6E clients which remained very close to 50 milliseconds. The GTX 6000 did not do very well, which was unexpected considering the previous results. The 4K simultaneous traffic simulations reveal a very similar pattern, and while I wasn't impressed by any of the results, the GTX 6000 displayed unreasonable latency levels on at least two client devices. The RTX 882U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro could have been better, but the user will still experience some buffering. After adding intense browsing into the mix, I noticed that things evened out between the three Wi-Fi 6 routers. Understand that all of these types of traffic ran at the same time and the 1080p performance was very close to 60 milliseconds on the Wi-Fi 6 and 6E clients. After I also showed the intense browsing, we get to see that the winner is so far the RTX 86U Pro, with the close second being the RTX 88U Pro. Moving to the 4K streaming and the intense browsing, we get between 80 and 100 milliseconds across all 5 clients with all 3 Wi-Fi 6 routers, which is usable but far from ideal. After including the intense browsing, we can see that the RTX 86U Pro is no longer the best. The GTX 6000 and the RTX 88U Pro showing overall a better latency. So, after all these results, which is the better performer? Well, it depends. The single client tests crown the ROG GTX 6000, while the multi client tests are a bit more nuanced. But only up to a certain point, because the RTX 882 Pro and the RTX 886 U Pro definitely handled multiple clients a bit better. There's usually not a lot of difference between the ASUS routers in terms of design and the software layout, but ROG series does stand out with a different color palette and sometimes more gaming focused features. Also, ASUS has kept the VLAN and the Guest Network Pro locked away from the RTX 86U Pro up until a few days ago when a new firmware upgrade finally unlocked it. With that in mind, there isn't a whole lot of difference between the RTX 86U Pro and the RTX 88U Pro. They have the same software layout, there's AI protection on both, same VPN support and as for gaming features there's Game Boost, Mobile Game Mode and the Open Net. It seems that the fast GPN is only present on the RTX 882 Pro and the GTX 6000 and these two routers pretty much share the entire suite of available advanced features. So what's the deal with the ROG name? You get flashy LEDs and black and red in the app and the web-based interface. Speaking of the app, the main difference between what you get on the ROG GTX 6000 and the RTX 882 Pro as well as the RTX 86U Pro is again the color palette. 
One last important factor is the support for open source software, and all three allow the installation of Merlin. But what about the OpenWRT? Unfortunately, none support it, and the closest we can come in terms of performance is the TAF AX6000 and the TAF AX4200 Duo. I actually tested the last one, and OpenWRT worked really well. So there you have it, in terms of hardware and design, each has its own small advantage, such as the narrower footprint, slightly better thermals, or the ability to be mounted on the wall. But in terms of performance, the routers do distance themselves a bit. The 2.4GHz radio chipset of the RTX 86U Pro does make a difference and not in a good sense, but it does hold its ground fairly well against the other two routers, especially in the multi-client tests. The ROG GTX 6000 does go head-to-head -head in almost every department with the RTX 88U Pro, but I'm fairly sure its design may put some people off. Also, it's quite a bit older than the other two routers. So, if I were to choose between the three, I would say whichever is the cheapest between the RTX 88U Pro and the RTX 86U Pro. That's about all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see this type of content in the future. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.